What up, everybody? Caleb here. It's been a minute. Been quite some time. But the boys are working on the drag mower. And I got myself a little mower. And I'm going to do some things to it now. Um, but as of now, once I get this camera flipped around, you'll see that here in a second. You can see that's completely stripped. I'm getting ready to weld some, um, some bearings on it for a new axle. It's going to be like a, uh, a drift mower. That's, that's what we're going to call it drift mower and uh I'm getting ready with some brackets and some bearings on for the axle and some stuff like that um i don't have a cameraman or a tripod so i'll try to get this set up for the best best way that i can so you guys can see everything detailed and stuff like that but i'm just gonna go ahead and jump into a time lapse because i don't got a cameraman or anything like that to walk around and film what i do so a lot of this video will probably just be time lapse or something like that Here's the mower. So it had, it had an 18 horse V twin on it. And I took that off in the rear end. She's gutting. I cut that, I had to fold that back so I can weld them, weld a plate out further so the bearings will sit on it. And, uh, Probably gonna put a motorcycle engine on it or something. I'm not too sure. I got one laying in the basement, so I might utilize that. But uh, let's, let's get into a time lapse. guys so i did i called in the big guns scotty p have him come weld these uh things on for me because you know my welds aren't the best um i did find this axle i got it at oh man where did i get this i got it at oh uh tractor supply it was cheap because it was on clearance. I guess somebody bought it and returned it. So they marked it way, way down. And I uh, had this from the mini bike. I uh, ordered that back when I had my mini bike. And it was the wrong size. So I kept that. Um, but I, I got to find the rest of my brake set that I had from my other go-kart. Because I, I kept a bunch of parts and stuff from that. But... I'm going to go ahead and get you guys set up on the little tripod stand that I got for a time lapse. And I'm going to get some stuff done on here. I'm probably going to have to make a custom mount for a uh, for the brake setup because it is a, it's a drum brake setup. So I'm probably going to have to figure something out for that. But uh, see what I get done today. It's pretty cold out. And... Uh, the garage isn't sealed all the way. I have that, but I don't really want to buy diesel fuel with the price of it. Um, so if I... the hubs on all this stuff tightened down got the this tightened down sprocket and everything but the issue that i'm running into now is trying to figure a way to mount this somehow because uh one of these have to be mounted solid and then there's a cable that runs through there and then when you, you press the pedal it pinches it to stop it so I gotta figure that out. That's the issue that I'm running into now. Um, 
But now I'm going to make some pedals, a gas pedal and a brake pedal. I don't feel like buying any or sourcing any. So I got this that I'm going to cut and make some pedals with some flat stock and this. And uh, it'll be pretty custom. I'm not too worried about it. This is a budget build. Um, I still got to clear all that stuff out right there. Figure out how I'm going to melt, not melt, mount my pedals. I'm going to get these pulleys and stuff off just for some more clearance. Um, get that bracket, get this bracket off. So I got to take these off. That's what uh, helped drop and raise the deck. This thing's a mess. Got to clean it out still. But it's, it's going to take me some thinking time to figure this out right here. But other than that, so far it's going pretty good. I know that I'm going to have to cut some of this out. And I'm going to run the chain. I'm going to notch that right in, the, right in here. I'm going to notch that and run the chain through there. And then on the upside, when it's flipped over, I'm going to get a, some uh, sheet metal. And I'm going to make its own shroud so the chain isn't exposed. Because I don't, I don't want the chain to run on the bottom. Because I want to have ground clearance. So I'm going to run it through the top. And then get some sheet metal. Make my own shroud for it. And uh, do that. I still got to figure out what motor I, I want to put on it. I have this diesel generator. I don't know if it runs or not. But I'm probably going to dig that out. Mess with that. Maybe. Just maybe. There might be a d diesel motor on this. That would be pretty sweet. Um yeah i'm gonna set you guys up somehow again on a time lapse so you can see me cut this metal and make these pedals and uh get into it I just got these custom pedals welded up. They don't look too bad. They aren't too bad, but it'll work better than spending some money that I don't need to spend when spend when I can just make my own. But that's all I'm gonna do for today because it's just getting colder and colder and colder. And plus, I still gotta figure this out and how to mount that. So I'm going to do some research, edit this video, and uh, continue this when I figure some things out. But uh, probably a real short video. Most of it's been time lapsing, hardly any talking or anything like that. But uh, I don't know if I'll make this video out today or when I figure out the brake setup. If I'll add the end of this video to make like a longer video. Or something. I'm not too sure yet. I was thinking about clearing all that stuff out, but it's cold. I'm going to go get some food and chill.